Hello everyone, this is Miss Alyssa and welcome to the Clark County Public Library. Uh, and this is our Love Sprout Storytime, our preschool age one, so about ages three to five, but all are welcome to join us and watch. Um, glad to have you today. So just bear with me for a moment um, as I try to give you just some hints about what we're going to be reading about today. So it's a creature, usually it's pretty big, um, furry, can have a few different colors of uh, fur. Um, they usually eat like a lot and then they go to sleep for like four months, which is called hibernation, which is probably what they're doing like right about now. Can you guess what it is? <gasps> That's right, we're talking about bears. Um, so, uh, have you, I, like I just said, bears eat like a ton because they've got us have enough food in them to last them for all those months that they're sleeping. Um, but have you ever wondered what exactly do bears eat? Well, we learned about that in our first story for the day, which is Eat Like a Bear by April Polisser and illustrated by Steve Jenkins, published by Henry Holt and Company, an imprint of Macmillan Publishing. Eat Like a Bear by April Polisser, illustrated by Steve Jenkins. Can you eat like a bear? Awake in April, find food, but where? Drink like a bear from a stream. Leaping trout, none about. Bushes, bear, no berries there. It's been four long months since fall when you were full. Oh, just thinking about that makes me hungry. Search the melting snows. What barely shows? Horse tails. Clip and snip eat sandy stems. Dig in, dig down. Paw and claw and pull. Find a hide. A starving bison that died in winter's cold. Gnaw the frozen meat from its bones. Can you search like a bear? It's May, find food, but where? Carrot sedges, chump cow parsnip stems, eat dandelions. The yellow fluff is not enough. Sniff the air, what smells? A spruce, a slug, an early skunk. Can you scratch like a bear? Find a tree, shuffle, pause, with long, strong claws, dig in, dig down. Paw and claw and pull, find ants. Chew them sour and squirmy, lick your lips. Can you hunt like a bear? It's June, find food, but where? An elk calf has strayed from its herd. Press pause, give chase, body bounding, race, find you were left behind. Ah, they got away. Hunting's over, time for clover. And for meeting another bear. Can you bathe like a bear? Ospreys and eagles fight midair. A cold stream awaits, wade in, wade down. Paw and claw and splash, find a fish. It thrashes, it bashes, Swallow firm, fresh trout. Can you forage like a bear? It's July, find food, but where? Search mountain meadows, unearthed roots, crisp, they crack. A brown bear snack. Wait, what was that? Tilt your head, use your ears. Dig in, dig down, paw and claw and pull, find a ground squirrel. Grab and crunch a meaty lunch. Sell and snooze as bumblebees buzz past. Can you climb like a bear? It's August, find food, but where? Check the talus slopes, dig in, dig down, paw and claw and whoop, rocks tumble, crumble, crash and bounce. Find cutworm moths, mash 
wash them in your mouth. Can you gather like a bear? It's September. Find food, but where? Look for colors. Is it time? Are they red? Scan up, scan down, paw and claw and pull. Find huckleberries. Break them with your teeth. Purple your snout. Can you eat like a bear? It's October, find food, but where? Follow tiny tracks. Dig in, dig down, paw and claw and pull. Find a squirrel's pine cone stash. Nibble, shred, crunch, and smash. Can you prepare like a bear? Choose a site, here or there. Gather branches and leaves. Dig in, dig down, claw and paw. Paw and claw and pull, hollow out a den, the home you need. Can you winter like a bear? It's November, the fat you wear will help you sleep through the winter. Snows will come. Settle in, settle down, paw and cuddle and curl. Find midwinter, you have two more mouths to feed. The end. Did you know that bears eat a lot? I didn't know that. I just knew that they eat like me and berries, but they eat like all kinds of stuff, don't they? But is that all stuff that you can eat? Probably not. I, I can't eat trees. Um, our second story is also about a bear settling down to hibernate. So this is Bear Can't Sleep by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman, published by Margaret K. McElderry, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster, who have given us permission to read it. So this is Bear Can't Sleep. Bear Can't Sleep by Karma Wilson and illustrated by Jane Chapman. In his home in the forest, while the cold wind blows, Bear snuggles in his quilt from his nose to his toes. While the snowflakes fall and the drifts pile high, Bear tosses and he turns, Bear moans and he sighs. He stares at the wall, he's not tired at all, and the bear can't sleep. Uh-oh, he's supposed to be sleeping. Pitter pat, tiptoe. Mouse scurries in the lair to check on the fire for his good friend Bear. Oh, Bear, Mouse squeaks, you are up too late. It is winter in the woods and Bear's hibernate. Mouse spreads, dear me, as he brews mint tea. And the bear can't sleep. Bear is counting sheep. One, two, three, four. When Badger and Hare tumble in through the door. Hello, Mouse, says Hare. We were just out walking. Bear should be asleep, but we both heard him talking. Snuggles deep down in a sad furry heap, but he still can't sleep. Mouse turns down the lamp. Badger builds the fire up. Hare pours warm milk in Bear's tin cup. Then Gopher and Wool come all up to the lair. Wool frets and he fusses. It is bedtime for bears. Cold wind blows while the firelight glows, but the bear can't sleep. <sighs> Red Owl and Raven flare flutter inside to find Bear awake with his eyes open wide. Red hops to and fro. What else is there to try? 
a song to make them sleepy, so they sing a lullaby. All gathered in the lair, they hum along for bear, but he still can't sleep. I'm awake, roars bear, and that's all there is to it. I have tried to fall asleep, but I just can't do it. I'm bored, bored, bored. So I'll spin you all a tale. Once upon a time in the strawberry veil, the friends huddle in as the story begins. Since the bear can't sleep. Well, Bear Tale is a story he has never told before. But just before the end, there comes a rumbling snore. When the sun peeks up on a bright new dawn, the friends can't sleep. But the bear snores on. nights like that where you just can't fall asleep well hopefully with some help you can all right so uh, I'm gonna we're gonna do a song now right now we're gonna do going on a bear hunt um, so I'm going to say everything twice first time it's just gonna be me but the second time say along with me and you can do the standing or sitting whichever one you prefer um, but we're gonna slap our knees to make a beat so We're going on a bear hunt, we're going on a bear hunt, gonna catch a big one, gonna catch a big one, I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid, open up the door, speak, open up the door, speak, walk down the road, walk down the road, come into a wheat field, come into a wheat field, can't go over it. Go over it, can't go under it, can't go under it, gotta go through it, gotta go through it. Two eyes. I see two eyes. 
and a big furry body, and a big furry body. Who's gonna take a picture? Click. <gasps> ah! It's a bear! <laughs> Coming to the river. <sighs> Coming to the tree. to make the eyes and make the proper ears. So you can paint white and make the polar bear, or you can make a black bear, whichever one you want, and have your own little bear. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye, see you next time.